Hey guys, it's Corey. So we're back with another GT Sport Full Throttle Auto Challenge and today we're racing the Evo 4 and just in case you guys are new to these videos it's five laps, no warm-up lap and the only thing you can add is racing medium tires and I have all assists off except for the cone markers. So let's get to it. Alright, so we got manual transmission, racing medium tires, traction control is off, all the other driving assists except for the cone markers are off, and we're ready to start this race. Let's get into it. Trying to get a feel for the car as we start this lap. And just like every other car so far, we've hit the brakes entirely too early at the uh, on the first lap. Just trying to figure out what the limits of the car actually are. And once again, I hit the brakes too early for this lap. A little bit of lift off oversteer on that one. Tried to correct it, lost some time on that. Ended with a 106.333. Breaking a little bit later, but still not late enough. Barely any throttle on this corner. We're over a second faster than our previous time. That just shows you how early we were braking on the last lap. Bit of lift off oversteer. That time was a 104.956. Since we went a little wider on that one, we were able to get a little bit faster takeoff and more speed, so that's why we're ahead of our previous time. A little bit of correction, lost us some time there. Had a little bit of lift off oversteer and then understeer coming out of the corner. Which set us up on the back foot for this lap, as you can tell from the ghost. Trying a tighter line to see if that works. That uh, wider line seems to be able to get a better exit speed. See if we can make up any of this time. If 
for some reason I followed the ghost's correction. Still a little bit of that liftoff oversteer, but we didn't get any of the understeer this time. That was a 104.798. Let's see what we can do this for this last lap. Ghost messed me up a little bit and put me real wide. Somehow that worked though, because I was able to get a better exit speed. Final turn. A little bit of understeer. And across the line for a 104.293. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed me racing that. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, camera view of the of the rig. And for my final time for the Lancer Evo 4, it was a 104.293. And full throttle auto, he ended up getting a 103.618. So he beat me on this one. We beat him on, He beat me on the first one, beat him on the second one, beat him on the GTR set 2017. He's beaten me on this one, so the next one's going to be the Lancer Final Edition, the 2015. So I'll get to that one in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are enjoying the Gran Turismo Sport content. If you guys wanted to accept this challenge as well, then go ahead and fill, record it however you want. I do have a nice setup for this one, or what I think is a nice setup for this one. And so don't don't be deterred by that so go ahead and post up your times if you have the game and you want to give this a shot and uh tag me in it on instagram the you know, or facebook and they'll be in the back end of this video so hope to, hope to see what your guys' times are let me know what you guys want to see in the future all right peace out to the next one